The World's Strongest Man is a Strongman event. Organized by IMG, an Endeavor company, it is broadcast in the U.S. during summers and in the U.K. around the end of December each year. Competitors qualify based on placing in the top three at the 4-8 Giants live events each year. The current event sponsor is Tarchi Palace. Previous sponsors include Coregynx, Commerce Hotel and Casino, Dav Trucks, Tonka, Metrics, and Partipoker.com. The event has a number of rival and parallel competitions with which it is sometimes confused, including the Strongman Super Series, the now defunct IFSA Strongman World Championships run from 2005 to 2007 after the International Federation of Strength Athletes parted company with WSM in 2004 and Strongman Champions League. Topic History There are now several documentaries available that chart the history of WSM. The first major one is, World's Strongest Man, 30 Years of Pain from 2008, celebrating the 30th anniversary. In 2017, a series of videos were released in recognition of the 40th anniversary of the contest. Topic: 1970s to 1980s. The concept behind the world's strongest men, as it was originally named, was developed in 1977 for CBS by Langstar Inc. David Webster, a Scot who later received an OBE for his services to sport, was the head coordinator of the competition from its inception. Dr. Douglas Edmonds, seven-time Scottish shot and discus champion and twice World Caber champion, worked with Webster and when Webster retired Edmonds took over. These two men were responsible for inviting the competitors and choosing the events. In the meantime, in 1982, CBS sold the rights to the BBC, who in turn sold the rights to Twee. In 1987, the WSM was not held for the only time since its inception. In that year the first and only non-team pure strength competition was held but it was not part of the WSM franchise. For the first several contests, well-known American color commentators and analysts were used on the network broadcast. These included Brent Musburger, Tom Brookshire, an acknowledged strength authority, journalist and author Dr. Terry Todd. Todd was a former powerlifting world record holder himself and went on to establish the H.J. Lutcher Stark Center for Physical Culture and Sports in 1990. He also was asked to establish the Arnold Strongman Classic in 2001 by Arnold Schwarzenegger. This competition has the largest purse of any strongman contest, with a $72,000 plus top prize in 2017. During this early period, the contest ranks consisted mostly of American football players, powerlifters, and bodybuilders and held in American locations until it was moved to Christchurch, New Zealand, in 1983. Two-time winner Bruce Wilhelm USA retired and was succeeded by the massive Don Reinhout in 1979, 162 kilograms, 357 pounds, heavyweight powerlifter of the USA. Reinhardt still holds several unequipped world records in powerlifting to this day. In 1979, newcomer and legendary powerlifter Bill Kazmaier USA made his appearance, coming in third after leading much of the competition. 
He dominated the sport to such an extent from 1980 to 82, winning by a record 28 points in 1980. He eventually was left out of the competition, even after becoming the first man to win three consecutive WSM titles. He set prodigious marks with a 478.5 kilograms, 1055 pounds silver dollar coin deadlift, 439.5 kilograms 969 pounds squat smith machine and a then record 165.6 kilograms 365 pounds log lift with a rough unbalanced log his legendary status eventually earned him a place in the WSM Hall of Fame after Kazmaier left, his nearest rival, former Olympian Jeff Capes from the UK, traded wins with the charismatic Icelandic powerlifter John Paul Sigmarsson. Sigmarsson raised the popularity and awareness of the event to new levels. He died three years after winning his fourth and final WSM in 1990. Topic: 1990s to 2000s. In 1995, Edmonds and Webster, along with representatives from the competitors including Jamie Reeves, Ilka Kinnanen, and Marcel Mostet, formed a governing body called the International Federation of Strength Athletes (IFSA). The IFSA began organizing bespoke events, such as the IFSA European Championships and also took the lead in working with the BBC and with TWI to organize the world's strongest man competition. For almost a decade the IFSA and WSM were inextricably mixed, but this changed in 2004. The Invest Group Ventures Sports Rights Management Arm, Invest Group Sports Management, invested heavily into IFSA and this led to the creation of IFSA Strongman. The strategy was to acquire most of the international assets and properties relating to the strongman sport. In essence this was a new organization with some, such as Magnus Samuelson, describing it as a new company, with the same name as our old federation." The attempt at dominance was not well received by TWI and disagreement ensued leading to a split in the sport. Previously, in 2001, the IFSA in its former guise had entered an agreement with World Class Events WCE, headed by Ulf Bengtsson, to run the Super Series. This Super Series was designed to award the World Championship title, but also acted as a qualifying vehicle for the WSM. When Strongman split in 2004, the Super Series sided with TWI forming a rival federation to the IFSA. With the WSM being a TWI-owned event, IFSA Holdings announced its own World Championships for 2005, to be held in Quebec, and thus from that point had no involvement in the WSM contest. The split with IFSA, which banned its registered athletes from competing at WSM, meant that not all the recognized best strength athletes in the world were eligible to compete. However, the reputation of WSM as the premier event maintained its lure for broadcasting purposes. In recent years, the competition has been broadcast on ESPN, ESPN2, TSN, Televisa Deportes and 5, and currently CBS Sports Network in the USA. The longevity of the contest in strength athletics and its high levels of TV exposure over the years has led to it being described as the granddaddy of all strongman contests. In recent years, to curb injuries, the contest events have included a certain amount of athleticism rather than being about raw strength. This has led some critics to say that contests such as the Arnold Strongman Classic or Fortissimus are the true strongest man competitions. However, it is routinely described as the world's by top strongman competitors and despite the critics, it is the leading brand name in the field. 
No other strongman contest commands close to the WSM's levels of TV exposure. The world's strongest man claims a viewership of 220 million. In the early 1990s, Magnus Ver Magnusson Iceland won the title four times and became the second and only man, along with the legendary Bill Kazmaier, to win three consecutive titles. The late 1990s saw Scandinavian countries taking control of the title, and this lasted until 2002. The relatively small 125 kilograms (275 pounds) but dynamic Jouko Ahola from Finland won two titles in three years during this period. He later became a referee in WSM strongman events and an actor. The early to late 2000s were dominated by five-time Polish winner Marius Pudzianowski, earning the nickname, The Dominator. Looking muscular and defined, he temporarily redefined what a strongman was in the world's eyes. At about 142 kilograms 313 pounds at max weight, he routinely beat men much bigger than he was. He combined speed and massive strength in one package. His final win was in 2008 as bigger and taller men came into the sport. The 2006 competition ended in dramatic fashion, with Phil Pfister edging out Marius Pudzianowski in the final event, the Atlas Stones. Fister became the first American to win the competition since 1982, and the first American ever to win the competition outside the United States. In 2008, Derek Poundstone had a large lead over Marius Pudzianowski after three events but Pudzianowski tied the deadlift event for first place and then won the crucial plane pull to narrow the gap. Pudzianowski and Poundstone then battled for the title of World's Strongest Man in the last event, the Atlas Stones. Pudzianowski blistered through the event and was able to keep pace with the heavier Poundstone. On the final stone, Pudzianowski was able to capitalize on Poundstone's drop and clinched his fifth title. In 2009, the long-running IFSA, WSM split had ended resulting in finally having all of the top strongmen from around the world all in the same contest. Two-time IFSA world champion Zydrunas Savikas claimed his first WSM title, with defending champion Marius coming in second in his final ever WSM contest. Another up-and-comer Brian Shaw placed third. Zydrunas repeated his victory again in 2010, winning by countback against Brian Shaw in the closest finish in WSM history. Top IFSA competitor and fan favorite Mikhail Kokliev finished third in his WSM debut. Zydrunas set a world record in the giant wooden log lift with a lift of 212.5 kg in 2011, Brian Shaw was able to finally capture his first WSM title, just edging out Zydrunas. Both athletes were tied going into the Atlas Stones and Brian was able to capitalize on his massive height advantage and claim the title. England's Terry Hollands finished in third place, this being his second podium finish after finishing third back in 2007. Going into the 2012 WSM contest, Brian Shaw suffered from nerve damage in his hands and slipped down to fourth place. This opened the door for Zydrunas to capture his third WSM title, with fellow Lithuanian Vytautas Lalas coming in second and the Icelandic giant Hava Julius Bjornsson placed third. Zydrunas set a world record in the log lift with a lift of 220 kg In the 2017 WSM, two four-time winners, Brian Shaw and Zydrunas Savakas, competed head-to-head -head for the first time, but Eddie Hall won his first title over runner-up Hava Julius Bjornsson by one point, and was the first win for the UK since Welshman Gary Taylor in 1993. 
The contest was not without controversy, however with Bjornsson claiming that he completed one more rep in the Viking press than the judge awarded him. Hall set a new strongman world record with a regular bar at 472.5 kg for a deadlift performed with just straps. The 2018 contest was held in Manila, Philippines for the first time in its history. Eddie Hall, winner of the 2017 World's Strongest Man, did not defend his title. The tournament was won by Haver Julius Bjornsson of Iceland, the first Icelander since Magnus Ver Magnusson in 1996 to win the title. Mateusz Kieliskowski of Poland finished second and four-time winner Brian Shaw of the United States third. Zydrunas Savakas, also a four-time winner, finished tenth after withdrawing in event four due to an injury. For a timeline, see the official WSM site. Topic: <laughs> Competition format and commonly contested events. Initially, eight men representing various sports and strength disciplines were invited to compete against each other in unique events designed to test each individual to the fullest extent. The earliest events were relatively crude, but new ideas were introduced over the years. Some events had a basis in both powerlifting and Highland Games heavy events, and others were created based on mythological feats of strength. There are a number of events that make up each competition. Loading race, several heavy objects, each weighing between 220 to 360 pounds 100 to 163 kilograms, are loaded onto a truck bed or a similar platform over a course of about 50 feet 15 meters. Maglashan stones, atlas stones, five heavy round stones increasing in weight from 220 to 350 pounds 100 to 159 kilograms are lifted and set on platforms. When the stones were first introduced to the competition, it was an individual event and the platforms were all of equal height. The modern Atlas Stones event takes place on a 16 to 33 foot 5 to 10 meters long course and the competitors participate two at a time. There are three current variations to the Atlas Stones event. In one, the stones are placed directly in front of the platforms and the competitors must simply lift and place them, generally the lightest stone being placed on the highest platform. In another, the stones are placed in a diagonal line, with the first stone being in front of the first platform, and each subsequent stone is set farther back from the course, with the heaviest stone being farthest away, or vice versa. The third variation sees the five platforms in a straight vertical line with the stones in front of each, and the competitors must place the stones and then move a short distance to the next one. In recent competitions, this is typically the final event. In the 2015 competition, the maximum stone was 209 kilos 461 pounds. Vehicle pull, vehicles such as transport trucks, trams, boxcars, buses, or planes are pulled across a 100-foot course as fast as possible. One variation sees the competitors pull the object with a rope toward them. Another has them attached to a rope which is attached to a vehicle, while they use another rope to pull themselves down the course. A third involves no ropes, with the competitors pulling the vehicle while connected to a harness. The 2007 competition featured pulling a fire truck possibly a nod to 2006 champion Phil Fister, a professional firefighter, and the 2008 qualifying rounds featured a coal truck a reference to the coal mining industry in West Virginia, where the competition was held. Overhead press, the heaviest possible load is pressed overhead, or a lighter weight is used for repetitions. 
Fingal fingers, a series of hinged poles. Fingers are lifted starting from a horizontal resting position and flipped over to the other side. The poles get progressively heavier and longer. The event is scored by time and by how many of the poles a competitor was able to flip over. The event takes its name from Fingal, a mythological Gaelic hunter warrior. Power stairs, a series of three duck walk implements ranging from 400 to 600 pounds, 181 to 272 kilograms, are lifted step by step to the top of a flight of stairs. Squat, squatting large weights, such as 900 pounds 410 kilograms of bricks, a car, or people on a platform. Recently, an apparatus has been used that drops weighted kegs into a cage, one at a time after each successful lift the event, in this case, is scored by weight instead of repetitions. The athlete will continue until completion, failure or time expires. Dead lift, lifting weights or vehicles up to about 1,100 pounds 500 kilograms straight off the ground until knees lock in a standing position. Lift is for either maximum weight, maximum repetitions with a fixed weight, or for time whilst holding a single repetition. In recent years, a similar keg-loaded apparatus to that described above for the squat has been used. Keg toss – Competitors must throw kegs, of increasing weight, over a 14 feet 6 in 4 .42 meters high bar. A variation using kettlebells was added to the 2015 competition, while in 2017 gold bricks were used. Weight throw – A 50-pound weight is thrown overhead with the goal being to clear a barrier above the competitor. The goal is to throw the weight the highest. Car carry – Competitors stand inside a stripped-down automobile, which is missing some of its roof and all of its bottom and interior, and carry it across a 25-meter course. Players are scored by how fast they carried the car across the finish line or how far they were able to get the car before the time limit expired. Hercules hold, the athlete stands between two hinged pillars, gripping handles that prevent the pillars from falling to the side. The pillars are held for the longest possible time. Carry and drag, an anchor and a chain are carried to the end of a set distance, where they must be attached to each other and then dragged back the same distance. Farmers walk, competitors carry heavy objects, usually anvils, weighing from 275 to 375 pounds, 125 to 170 kilograms, in each hand for a set distance, and compete for the fastest time. A variation involves use of a heavy frame with parallel handles or heavy objects attached to handles, and another involves much heavier weights referred to as the giant farmer's walk. This event is usually done on the same course as the carry and drag is and conducted as a race, but one competition in Sanya, China saw the competitors compete individually carrying the weights up a small set of stairs. A competition in Victoria Falls, Zambia 2001 saw the competitors race two at a time along a course requiring several turns. Super yoke, apparatus composed of a crossbar and two uprights. The uprights each have a heavy weight attached to them, such as a refrigerator or diesel engine, and the competitors must carry the yoke on their shoulders for a short distance. Husafel stone, a flat, somewhat triangular rock weighing around 400 pounds 182 kilograms is carried high on the chest for a set distance or for overall distance within a time limit. During some years which the competition took place in Africa, this event was known as the Africa stone and the stone was in the shape of the continent as it appears on a map. The 2017 competition called this event the Elephant Carry, and the stone was shaped like the head and face of an African elephant. 
duck walk an object with a handle is carried, suspended between the legs, over a set course. Log throw, caber toss, a 5 meter long 16 and a half foot log is thrown for distance or for height over a bar. When thrown for distance, the event is conducted similarly to the normal caber toss but with distance replacing technique. The length of the throw is determined by measuring the distance between where the competitor's toes were when he tossed and the tip of the log, based on where it first landed. Tug of war, one-on-one -on -one tug of war in a single elimination tournament. In the first few competitions, this determined the champion and served as the final event. Pole pushing, one-on-one -on -one pole pushing in a sumo-style ring in a single elimination tournament. The pole has handles at either end. Crucifix, weights are held straight out at each side for as long a time as possible. A common variation entails weights being held out in front, using either one or both hands. Giant dumbbell press. Single-handed dumbbells are hoisted from the ground onto the competitor's shoulder, from where, with one hand, he must raise it vertically over his head and lock out his arm. With four weights between 100 and 115 kilograms, 220 and 254 pounds, scoring is based on time and number of successful lifts. Basque circle, stone circle, Conan's wheel, a competitor takes hold of the handle of a metal basket by placing the handle on his forearms. Inside the basket, usually, is at least 600 pounds 270 kilograms of heavy stones the 2015 WSM replaced the stones with pineapples and at least one earlier competition used a car. Holding the basket in the crook of his elbow, the competitor carries the basket in a clockwise manner over a platform with a 25-meter circumference. The event is contested for distance. Norse Hammers, added to the competition for the first time in 2015, the Norse Hammers is similar to the Fingal Fingers event. Three hammers, shaped like those of Norse god Thor, must be flipped over. Unlike the Fingal Fingers, the competitors must lift the hammer from the side before pushing it up. There are three hammers, weighing 350, 365, and 380 pounds, respectively. In order to complete the event, all three hammers must be flipped within the time limit. Circus barbell, similar to the overhead press, this event gets its name from the apparatus used which resembles the stereotypical barbell used by circus strongmen. The barbell, which weighs 150 kilograms (330 pounds), consists of two heavy spheres with a thick, flexible bar that makes it difficult for the competitors to lift. The event is conducted for reps within a time limit, and the movement to complete the lift resembles a clean and press lift. Beginning in 2017, the qualifying format was changed. After five events, the leader clinches a spot in the final. To determine who will join him, one last event is conducted. In 2017, a new event called Last Man Standing. An atlas stone is placed at the center of an octagon and, one at a time, the competitors must lift the stone and drop it over a 55-inch metal bar. They each have 10 seconds to do this, and once one cannot complete the drop he is eliminated and the next highest scoring competitor entering the event takes his turn. The competition continues in stepladder fashion, beginning with the two lowest scoring competitors, until only one remains, that competitor is declared the winner of the event and secures the second place in the final for the qualifying group. The 2018 competition used the Atlas Stones to determine the second finalist. The three lowest scorers were eliminated from the competition, and the second and third place finishers squared off with the first one to complete the Atlas Stones or the furthest along, advancing to the final. Topic: 
Most championships Notes Topic Most top three places Most times qualified for WSM, Zydrunas Savakas 14 times Most WSM finals, Zydrunas Savakas 12 times Most consecutive WSM finals, Brian Shaw 10 times 2009 to 2018. Most times WSM top 5 placings, Zydrunas Savakas, 10 times Topic: Championships by country. Bulgaria, Estonia, the Faroe Islands, Fiji, France, Germany, Grenada, Hungary, Iran, Israel, Italy, Kenya, Namibia, Nigeria, Serbia, and Samoa have all placed in the top ten, but have not yet won a medal. Topic Hall of Fame The WSM Hall of Fame was created in 2008, to recognize the greatest competitors in the history of the contest. As of 2019, there are six members of the WSM Hall of Fame, Marius Pujanowski, Sven Carlsson, John Paul Sigmarsson, Bill Kazmaier, Magnus Ver Magnusson and Magnus Samuelsson. Topic: Hall of Fame members. Bill Kazmaier, John Paul Sigmarsson, Magnus Samuelsson, Magnus Ver Magnusson, Marius Pujanowski, Sven Carlsson. Topic: See also. List of strongman competitions <laughs>